Hi everybody, welcome to Hagerstown, Maryland. Technically, Halfway, Maryland, which is a suburb of Hagerstown, and that's where this mall is located, the Valley Mall. This mall opened up in 1974. It was the second mall in Western Maryland to open, with the first being the Frederick Town Mall in Frederick, Maryland, which if you know anything about that mall, that has since been closed and is abandoned, and several YouTubers over the years have done videos and explorations inside of that place. When this mall opened, it opened with 90 stores and was anchored by Montgomery Ward, Ireleys, J.C. Penney, McCrory's, People's Drug, Carmike Cinemas 3, and Pantry Pride Grocery Store. It overwent major changes over the years. Within a short time of opening, Ireleys became the Bon Ton, and a partial second floor was added with small craft stores. In the mid-90s, the mall underwent major renovations, including the removal of that second floor and as of today, the JCPenney is the only occupancy of that mall with a second floor. Also in the 90s, People's Drug and McCrory's closed and were replaced by small shops. Pantry Pride's location became Martin's, which if you know anything about Martin's, that's a grocery store here. It was then moved and replaced by Toys R Us which has also since closed, and if you remember back to 2018, I actually filmed that Toys R Us. In the 1999-2000 era, the mall expanded with a new wing to include Old Navy, a food court, Hex Department Store, if I said that correctly, a 16-screen multiplex, and additional small stores. As of today, this mall now has over 100 stores in it. In 2003, Sears moved from the Long Meadow Shopping Center in northern Hagerstown to replace the Montgomery Ward. As you know, Montgomery Ward closed in 2001, and Sears closed, I believe it was 2017 or 2016 when they left. In 2006, Hecht became Macy's as part of the retirement of the nameplate. Macy's closed in April of 2016. In 2017, Bonton announced that they would be closing their store in early 2018. And as we know what happened with Bonton in 2018, they filed for bankruptcy and closed all of their locations. And to this day, only one or two have reopened under different nameplates in other cities. Belk opened up in this mall in the space of the Bon Ton, making it a two-anchor store once again after it lost three of them within just a couple of years' time. So J.C. Penney and Belk are the two that remain here, and then Dix was moved into the mall as well in, in 2020. Tilt Studio opened up here in 2018, replacing the old Macy's location and sharing it with One Life Fitness, which opened up in 2019. So overall, this mall is doing fairly well for a rural town just west of Baltimore. You're about 60 so miles away from Baltimore, and this is the prime shopping destination in the area. In my opinion, this is a very clean and well-kept mall. I really like their decorations that they put up outside of Belk here. That's why I'm showing them to you guys, even though Christmas has passed. When the mall opened in 1974, it was developed and built by Shopco Development Company of New York City. And currently, it is now managed and owned by Pennsylvania Real Estate Investment Trust and is over 917,000 square feet. So not a large this mall out there, but a decent sized one. As of today, the Valley Mall is the only one in the Hagerstown area as the older Martinsburg Mall not far from there, had closed and has been demolished and repurposed. This mall does serve the areas of West Virginia and Pennsylvania, as you are only within an hour's drive of both states. So, in a rural area, this is your prime shopping destination. And you're approximately a half an hour south of Chambersburg, PA, which, if you know anything about that area, that's where the Chambersburg Mall is, which is also failing really badly. And we have done a video there, which we will show you soon. One takeaway from this mall that I really appreciated was the Long John Silvers here. I've never been to a mall where I've seen a Long John Silvers inside, especially for that chain. So that was a pleasant surprise. And even though their food isn't the best out there, I do like their Hush Puppies, so naturally I had to make a stop.
I hope you are enjoying this video. This is my uh, second mall video that I have done using the new DJI Osmo Pocket. It's a camera that I just recently acquired. I really enjoy using this thing, and as I work out the kinks and get better with it, I'm doing my best to give you guys quality content that I hope you enjoy. With that said, I'm going to take off, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll let you enjoy the rest of it. And stay tuned for a little train display that they built at the end of the mall video here. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Thanks for all of your support over the years. We really appreciate it, and we're really excited for 2021 and everything this year is going to bring us and the videos that we're going to bring you guys. So with that said, take care, stay awesome, and on Kayla's behalf, have a Kmartlicious day. Bye-bye.
so cool.